Hello everyone, in this video I will show how can you install vCenter to manage your ESXi host and use very useful tools from vCenter. As you can see this is one of my ESXi hosts and I will install vCenter on this host. Click on create register VM, select deploy a visual machine from OVF file, next. Write the name of your vCenter VM name. Click on select file. I have downloaded vCenter ISO file from VMware website and mount ISO file earlier. Under VCSA folder select VMware vCenter server appliance. Next, select data store where your vCenter will be installed. Next, I agree. Next, select your vCenter network interface. Deployment type is based on your environment. As you can see in the description, you can see the details. For example, Tiny vCenter is compatible with a maximum 10 host and 100 VM. Next, here we have to configure our appliance setting. These are depend on your environment. IP version 4, static. This is your vCenter IP address, 24 is my subnet mask. This is your vCenter FQDN. Write vCenter password. This is root password of your appliance. Skip update configuration. As you can see in the right side of each field, we have a exclamation mark and shows the details. Write your domain name. Next, this is summary. Finish. Our appliance importing and will run automatically after import. Ok, appliance start automatically. Wait for some minute.
At this time, I am going to log in to vCenter configuration portal to finish installation. To access configuration, use port 5480. Write your vCenter, FQDN and port 5480. You have to create a R record for your vCenter FQDN. As you can see, CPU usage is high for vCenter, so wait for some minutes. Click on Setup, Root Password that already configured, Login, Next. These are configurations that I already set during importing appliance to ES6i host. Next. Now create a vCenter administrator account or you can join to another SSO domain. Next. Next. These are summary. The most important thing that you have to do is about DNS records of vCenter. Open your DNS server. In my lab, I used Windows DNS server. At the first, create a R record for your vCenter. You have to run installation by using a FQDN that you set in the configuration. Second, you have to create a PTR record of your vCenter IP address that resolves to your vCenter FQDN. This is my PTR record of vCenter. Okay, finish. If installation is stuck or get failed, check your DNS and PTR record in DNS server. That's very important. That's correct in my lab. Click on the link to open vCenter. Select HTML5. Write the username and password. Let me check CPU usage of vCenter. Something run at the background to complete installation.
okay this is your vCenter appliance and ready to use let's add the ES6 house to this vCenter click new data center right click and select add a host write ES6 size server IP or host name write ES6 I credential I don't have a R record of my ES6 I so create a R record for that try again yes next 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 finish Okay, as you can see, my ES6i host added to this vCenter and VMs of this ES6 host appears here. I hope this video was useful for Virtualization Administrator to install vCenter. If you have any question, write in the comments. Also, please subscribe to my channel and watch other virtualization videos. Don't forget to like videos. Have a good day. Bye-bye.